if you had to crown one of these teams the best in Canada, which one would it be? Oh, first of all, good to see you guys. It's been a while. Uh, that's a tough one. And I mean, they've slotted those two teams against each other on TV for me. Now we've done this uh, segment uh, a couple times and I think I lean Winnipeg. I, I really do. Uh, Vancouver has the offensive edge, I would say, but guys, that stat you were going over earlier in the show, 30 games now allowing three or less is unreal. And it's just not goaltending. I mean, Connor Hellbuck is a major part of that, but I just feel like it's a really unheralded decor, like not a lot of household names. You got guys like Dylan Sandberg and Neil Pionk. Uh, Dylan DeMello is like plus 24, leads their team. Um, they're just, it's a tougher two points, I think, against Winnipeg. They both have some similarities, really good third lines. That third line for Vancouver's really come come into its own with Dakota Joshua and Connor Garland. But that third line in Winnipeg with uh, Adam Lowry and Mason Appleton and Nino Niederreier, the offense they can produce, plus the physicality and the, and the shutdown component. I think the most impressive thing about the Jets right now is they're doing it all without their leading goal scorer. You throw Kyle Connor back into the mix and – that's just a whole different, uh, a whole different element. It's it reminds me of the Jets teams of old. When I was in the league ten years ago, now going into Winnipeg to try to get two points, it was a hostile environment, which their attendance is coming back. But it was just a tough, tough game. You knew every time you got the puck, someone's on top of you. Uh, there isn't a lot of room to move out there, and the grade A's and the slot shots and the the chances you get. You have one of the best goaltenders in the league there shutting things down. So I, I'll give the ed edge to the Jets right now, but it, that's a really close call. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Zaravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button. Thank you